Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, I wanted to do a quick video, an experiment I did that actually worked. This is a uh, Mark single reduction motor, as you see, and I've installed a full wave bridge rectifier directly on the motor itself. So I've got uh, the uh, AC, uh, one of the AC pins actually soldered directly to the side plate. I originally had the uh, negative uh, DC pin soldered there as well. I discovered that I only needed the AC pin grounded. And then AC goes in here and DC comes out and goes directly to the light socket. Now the light socket supplies power to the entire motor. So if you apply DC there, you have DC at the field coil and the brushes. So we have effectively converted this to a DC motor. Of course, it's sitting on an AC rail. So as you see, it runs completely different with the uh, full wave bridge uh, rectifier installed than it does without it. You can make this thing literally crawl around this rail. This is running on standard AC, as you see. You got plenty of power. E unit works perfectly. The motor sounds completely different. It doesn't sound anything like a Marx motor. And you can see how slow you can run this. You simply cannot do this running this motor on AC. So this works. A uh, simple full wave bridge rectifier mounted directly on the motor itself, as you see. So AC goes into this pin, DC comes out, goes directly to the socket, which supplies DC voltage to the motor, even though it's sitting on an AC rail. So it works. And the advantage, of course, is it's much smoother and you have much, much greater control of the speed. Uh, also, like I said, it sounds completely different with that uh, rectifier installed. And it sounds nothing like a Marx motor, and it runs nothing like a Marx motor. As you see, you can get this thing to run nice and smooth, and nice and slow all the way around the rail. I think it's just barely crawling. That's about 15, 20% power, something like that. As you see, this works. There's no doubt about that. When you put a shell on this, you can run this uh, motor at uh, scale speeds now, and it maintains that speed, as you see. So a Marx motor converted to DC by simply installing that full wave bridge rectifier. And like I said, it's uh, actually soldered directly to the side plate. And then the uh, power wire goes there and DC out to the bulb. And once, once you supply DC there, you have DC through the entire motor. Anyway, this works, so I just wanted to do a quick video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Ben's trains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.